We're live at Skinny B. Johnson Stadium and International Speedway in Barron Bristlejock, Georgia, where dreams go to die. The crowd is drunk, impatient, and demanding explosions. So let's get down to the field before they burn this place to the ground again. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Yorks of Hazard. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Uh and his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. Ten yards on that play. Second down, the side, and the defense jumps offside. Oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Wow, oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. I don't even know it. Second down, and, he, and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and ain't going to happen, partner. The defenders walk, he just kicked in. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Nice hit. And it's first and ten. Great. 
great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, he took a beast boost and oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji, the new game from Wilbur Crabtree. Oh, he took a leap and hit the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. First and ten. Second down and long. First and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. And that'll bring up third and one. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First and two. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. That's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and two.
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. For grabs. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third and four. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. Second down and six. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And the ball, and he just gave a gift to the defense with that boneheaded lateral. And that'll bring up second and one. And he's running like a moose right now. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot.
third down in forever. And Briggs, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking this game. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and five. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First down and seven. Catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's all those power and cream like a high cool. <laughs> the offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupid time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, what a brutal hit. Hey, man, she's going to get him now. You know what happened? <laughs> and it's first first time out under two minutes the chess game has begun it's like chess only you can kill people and the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense hey Grim, what's the hurry up offense there's no huddle the offense calls plays at the line of script oh and did he just put on a display there touchdown Oh, every 
anything. The defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard that Time Warp 30 Trick uses advanced alien black hole technology. Yeah, your entire life is one big black hole. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brain Free with a ball that didn't fall down. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed, it was a chip. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. That's a gain of ten yards. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Whoa, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First and eight to go. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And then put six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a thrown excellent win. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. like ground up use it on pesky weeds or neighbors and they'll be gone by morning the third quarter is about to begin and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was we may see a riot in the stands well that's gonna happen either way grim it's a one dollar red bull crap and vodka jello shot day The home crowd is 
wasn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. And like a oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And that'll bring up second and one. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just said, First and ten. Three-yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Second down and seven. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic person. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Second down and seven. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery.
should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. First and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Third and two. First and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. And it's good! You know, Rick, in this league, we're mine. Hey, yeah, Rick, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And that is caught for a first down. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna 
shave a few days off his life. Second down and six. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and six. to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First and eight to go. Second down and ten. Third down and long. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. Oh, nice time warp dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> well, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Uh, did they? Didn't they just? Uh, the And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Crusher right there, folks. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Fred, can I kill him? Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And Metcalf will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he snags it for six. Touchdown!
want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the field for the receiver. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down his guy to the speed seat grip. He's running from his knees. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game there aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home man he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out touchdown and he rips off a game-breaking run for the score you know this should be easy but with kickers you never know The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Boom! And it's first and ten. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. He refuses to go down, and he's off to the races. And it's first and ten, and they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Bridges' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a cop. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Third down, and they use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you?
you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> no, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to him. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the racing. for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. First and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy. That's what you're after. And that's the last timeout. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Second down and six. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. Worm swallows him home. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you fast. Well, that's the end of his day. Looks like he had a bad case of the worms. And the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. The Orcs of Hazard suffer a loss today. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.